High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Well, you know what time it is. It's time for school and Katie Shirley in the studio again with more guests. Actually, a repeat guest. Welcome back. Hi, thank you. Good morning, Brett. Um, Katie Shirley here, and I have with me today, um, once again, our PN um, director, and her name is Mickey McDonald. Good morning, Mickey. Hi, good morning. So Mickey has been very busy. It's a busy time of the year for the practical nursing program as we are opening up applications um, and starting to be accepted by the end of this week. It should be live. Um, You'll be able to find it on um, social media is our best the best place to um, watch to kind of monitor to see what's happening and we'll direct you to the website also at hptc.edu. Um, so Mickey, let's talk a little bit about um, what all they need to be, if someone is going to be applying, what they need to be looking at right now so they'll be ready to um, complete their application and get it turned in. Because there's there's a little bit of um, prerequisites they, they need to have done. So tell us about that process. Okay, there is. So, yeah, we've been in the clinical setting for two weeks with our um, faculty and students, so that's been pretty exciting. And so and that's something you would do when you come into the program as we rotate through all of the clinical sites. So, um, yeah, so for pre-entrance, we call it advanced standing and, um, yeah, there's several things you need to do to get, and you got plenty of time to be prepared to um, have this completed. So one of the things we do require is an official high school transcript, or we do accept a GED. Um, and, of course, if you have any um, college um, training, university, and, and actually through the career tech, too, um, we would require that. So one of the things is your long-term nurse aide. Um, you would need that, um, a certificate of completion. The thing is, it also needs to be through the November 1st, uh, 2023 um, uh, deadline. And the reason for that is we have to have you certify when you go into the clinical setting for the long-term nurse aide. Because we do um, that type of um, clinical at the nursing home. Okay. And also, I'll just throw in right now, on the CNA, We, if you'll check our website at the short-term classes, we offer CNA um, I think once a month we have daytime classes, which is Monday through Friday, two weeks of the month. And then we also have evening options. So if you want to go ahead and get on that, those options are available starting, I believe, um, probably in a week or so. Yeah. So kind of a note on that that's interesting is the several um, people that teach that um, you have to be an LPN um, or an RN. Well, everyone that has taught it recently, I should say, is a former graduates of the yes. program, which is exciting. And we now have a new um, lady, not new to the field, but new to just High Plains. And she actually was a graduate also from um, the LPN High Plains. And she went on and got her RN, yes. which and is exciting. So that's um, Bar- Barbara yeah, the big Livingston? Barbara. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, so she's our adjunct CNA instructor, Mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so the other thing they need is medical terminology, and you have to also have a a certificate of completion, and you can also get that at High Plains. And if you can't do that, then um, we do have a link on our website that links out to other areas or other sites. You can um, go ahead and get a certificate in that, too. Um, American Heart Association has to be AHA. Um, health provider, and uh, BLS, and it can't be, you know, the regular one has to be the true health provider. And that also has to be throughout the whole program. So that's all the way to the end of May 31st of 2023. So a lot of times this becomes an issue if someone has taken it. It lasts for two years. Okay. But if you're at the middle of it, let's say, and it ends in January, you know, that is something you would have to retake. So okay. it needs to extend through the end so of the So that's what you're program. saying on CNA in this Correct. one, is that they have certain dates that they're only good for that you've got to retest Correct. again? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, and then, of course, our ACT. And, you know, that always strikes fear in people's hearts, and yes. it doesn't need to. Um, and I know even ones that have been graduated a long time. Yeah. yeah I say not as long as me, but <laughs> a long time. Um, you can do that. They have books. They have um, all kinds of things you can get that will help you prep out in your areas. And a really, very exciting thing that has been decided is we're going to do, because we found that the phone calls, because we actually listen to your phone calls and try to make things um, um, for you that you can um, apply and be secure in applying and, and not be fearful of taking this test. 
is they're offering, um, Hot Plains is offering an ACT math prep is specific to math. Okay. Because that has been the, the thing that, you know, the people fear more yes. is the math I portion. Can totally I can understand that. that. Yeah. <laughs> I was so <laughs> Yeah, me too. So um, it's offering, and that's up in, on the website right now, too, for uh, short-term yes. classes, I believe. What date is that coming so up? So it's going to be February? February the 2nd. Okay, so... And it looks nights. like Tuesdays and Thursdays, February the 2nd, it starts, and it looks from 6 to 8 o'clock, and will end March the 10th. Okay. And since it is a, it's a class, a true mm-hmm. evening class, um, I believe the cost is $100, and Abby Wasson is the one teaching that, and oh, awesome. I can speak volumes for her. She actually came this year and spoke to my students and did mm-hmm. one-on-one sessions with the one, because I teach the pharmacology portion, which is the math. Doshi's calc, Uh and she taught that, and you could just see the growth in the students and understanding. I like to think I'm a good math teacher, but I'm not a math teacher by train, and she truly is a math teacher. So the enrollment for that actually starts today. Yes, it is today. Okay, so yes, so if you could call, and I believe your your source of contact is Tammy Kellen, and her number is 571-6159, and she'll be able to enroll you, and I really think this is really going to be beneficial to raising those math scores. Yeah, and I'm sure if it's um, you've missed getting in today, I'm sure you can jump in late too, so go ahead and try to see if you can get in. So the ACT, they have to take it, whether, you know, they've taken it in the past. And I think a lot of people had con, um, concerns or questions of why we chose the ACT because it is really a standard test that is seen through a variety of areas, including our REM programs. And if you know, or you might not know, that when you graduate from the LPM program and you also get licensed, you get college credit hours. Right. So we're trying to kind of marry those two together. And ACT is something when you say that a lot of people, oh, okay, I know the ACT. It's not a foreign exam. Uh-huh. So what we've done in is lots of <laughs> boring things about data collection that I've done. And we found that at 17, you can be successful in the program. And okay. we want people That's to be successful. Magic number. It's the magic number. So that would also be a composite score, which is your your big score would be mm-hmm. the 17. But let's say you scored low on something else and it skewed it. Right. Let's say your science was very low. You can do a subset score individually of reading as a 17 or math as a 17, and you're still um, are able to be considered to be into the program. Okay. Just because you hit that mark doesn't mean it just means you you know you're able to be considered, and we look and we'll have an interview process right. later in the year around June. Um. So, yeah, that's the main things. And we're going to have it's really um, user friendly. Even I can do it. You would log on to the website. I mean, onto to Hot Plains. Mm-hmm. It's a click action. You go right into the PM program and it's right there and it gives you step by step what to do. It even gives you breakouts of where the ACT is, breakouts where the um, I'm sure they um, the ACT prep math prep, I should uh-huh. say classes and it gives everything that you would need and plus i'm always a source of contact if you need to talk to um I mean, you want a tour i'll do it if you want to um just visit on the phone i, mean, I have no i would love to do that with you um nursing as you would know right now is is we are so low on nurses um, we need men and women to come out and be nurses and to fulfill these huge gra- gaps. Yeah. The other thing I'd like to tout is, and we don't promise you a job when you leave. We don't mm-hmm. have those promises that you have. But I can tell you the last five classes easily, and I would venture to say more, but the last five classes, it's 100% placement if you choose to work. Wow. That's pretty incredible. It, it is. It is. It is, it is incredible. Even before COVID hit us, mm-hmm. we had nurses are needed. The boomers uh, generation is getting older yeah. and maybe my generation. Um, so we're going to need help. Yeah. And nursing, you will be able to go anywhere and work in any activity in any arena that you want to. Um, if you have that drive and you can even stay local. Yeah. There's, I mean, we're hiring right and left. If people haven't seen that, we need nurses. Right. We need caring nurses. And then also, um, after you get your PN, there's the what what options could they look towards down the road? Yeah, after you get your um, your um, LPN, you can go if you choose. You can start work, and there's just so many options for people now in the um, college arena. We could you could go directly and do online things, you know, because you're doing your basics. You can get something called an ADN, which is two years, or you can get your bachelor's, which is a four year program. And we've had tons of students do that. Um, and they are working RNs, and they took their time. Some have done it right out of school. Some took it 10 years later. Right. Um, And then, of course, is a pay and 
It's an increase in pay, but it also is an incre- increase in responsibility. Yeah. But it's absolutely an avenue. And, of course, there's Northwestern here. Um, Western from Altus comes, and they're supportive, and they're very good programs. And one last thing, you mentioned clinicals. They just got done with a two-week rotation. Um, will you give a shout-out to where all those clinical sites are that they're going to? Oh, gosh, yes. So we go to uh, Anuma Memorial. We go to um, Alliance Health. Um, behavioral health. We haven't gone there yet, but we will. We're not quite there. We go to all of the clinics. Um, I'm going to shout out to Harper County and Buffalo has um, had us and Sealing has. um, And like I said, all the clinics that you might not know are through Alliance Uh or through Shattuck. We go to every one of those, and without our clinical sites, we would have, we would not be alive at right. High Plains Technology Center. So we're beyond appreciative of them. So you're more than likely to see a High Plains student, whether past, present, or future. Absolutely, when you're in the when a, in a clinic. When I went to Sealing, um, literally the three staff nurses on there were the three staff nurses that I taught. Wow. That's so yeah, cool. it's exciting. Yeah, that is neat to see. Well, thank you, Mickey, and um, thank you for joining us this morning. And um, thanks for listening. And we will be back next week here on 100.1.